keeping the rocket dream alive. Yeah, I'm gonna try to today. For sure. I mean, this is just pretty much as good as it gets. It's up there on like quality hands. All right. Yeah, we start off with a couple of losses though. I mean, versing any Noxus deck is kind of just uh, pretty much auto flop. But we had we have some game. We had some game against Kaiser. We just kept a pretty greedy Mulligan. So that's on me. Uh, we can't afford to block this. We gotta play to our Star Spring top decks constantly. Unfortunately, passing here is pretty savage. Probably going to actually block this. We don't necessarily have to all in the um, Star Spring, but if given the opportunity where it makes sense, I would take it. I don't think I'm going to like invest any resources to protect the Koja here. I'm probably just going to play Soraka. Or maybe even just pass. I could value the Tentacle Smash a bit more. We move against fear, against doubt. I mean, if Quaka didn't want to spend any of his mana there, that's fine. My friends, <laughs> a chance to live. We will be swinging. Uh, we have Pale if they decide to block. Depends what they might have going from us, but totally fine with just kind of doing this, you know? That's what the Pales are here for. Running into Flock is an L. I mean, Flock's the least of my concerns. Disintegrate and Scorched Earth is a pure L. I'm just gonna hit him with a pass here. Oh, swindling. What can they take from me? I guess Tentacle Smash is pretty frustrating. He's really just sending in the Powder Pandemonium now. To heal and protect. Um, yeah, I guess that makes sense to drag there. I wonder if his plan is to go multiple powder pandemoniums here. I probably want to develop a wide board instead. I might just um tag my Soraka here. Consult the heavens? Probably not the play for next turn. I would like to get brought back protected down this turn in order to start healing up a little bit. Really gonna red card there? That's a bit wild. Fair enough. I'm a people person. Everyone here, let's go. My selection speaks for itself. Okay, he's tapped out, minus the shakedowns that he might yoink from me. I think I'm gonna play box to puss here. I'm still good to scrum. Safety will cost you. Might take this opportunity to use Soraka's wish. And if I can, I'll try not to trade off too much the of his board. The monkeys would just be more of a problem if he gets to summon them all. Okay. And I think I might just do that. I do unlock his uh, red card, but that's fine. Maybe we can just find an all-in with um Alawi. Yeah, I guess he could have yoinked my astral protections, so like that potential all-in play might not work out. Like if I would go consult the heavens. Unironically, I think I maybe just don't even attack. Like if I'm able to find, let's say for example, Star Spring. I might just play Star Spring and chill, you know? Keep his board full of these units that essentially don't do what Powder Pandemonium can. And we can just utilize Broadback Protector to heal us up to a certain point. The question is, what would I be um, overlapping with Star Spring? I'm not really concerned about the chip damage because Broadback Protector will do more than more than well there. I 
All right, my answers, my question's been answered. We're going to overlap the Alawi. Yeah, I really don't want to attack into him. I'll protect you. He is going to be plus one wider than me on the board for the rest of the game now because we um have to leave space for the spring. But this is probably my best chance of winning. And as soon as he's like, oh man, I'm going to have to trade off my board, then I'll just take some really good blocks and heal up a lot with Star Spring. Could I have another tentacle smash? Hang on, no. The smash he played. No, I'll okay, just pass. I might just, um, Soraka's wish here. We're running Consult the Heavens main deck. Yes. Hey, yo, what's up, Corel? How you going? Guiding touch, probably just going to be used for face. So here's where we want to take as many good blocks as we can, right? Soraka can bump into there. It's a bit greedy, but I have some protection tools, so sure. He's probably going to, let's say, for example, I have Nakaboros on the stack. More than happy to go for astral protection. I don't think there's any spooky cards after that. And that's probably just a Star Spring victory, right? Ooh, sound effects, guys. Hold up, pause your sound effects. I mean, just broadback and um, Soraka alone should be enough to clean up. What is this? Zero mana hush? That would be yikes. I think we really just want to pass here. He couldn't have a two mana tentacle smash, so that's fine. These rolls were pretty decent, but let's just calculate the odds here of winning. So Soraka is going to be a uh, seven plus one. Seven plus one is eight. Yeah, this is more than enough to win. I don't think we actually need to play anything here. Again, just zero mana cards I should be scared of. No. Star Spring heals us up one. We get heal three to the Nexus. I have no divergent paths in my deck, so there's no like weird divergent plays. Stars fall. Live with purpose. Can't win them all, eh? I really don't see a way that they can win here. Consult the heavens just to show it off. Get rid of the tentacle. Actually, no, we keep the tentacle on the field. We just, we just keep the tentacle on the field. This game's over. I don't know why I'm so insecure. It's over. We'll keep as much mana up as possible for just drawing cards, finding more guiding touches. Why not guiding touch the previous round? I guess that's true. I could have just guiding touched face and that would have been totally fine. Nothing to... Be concerned about there. That's correct, Tenkua. That's a good line. Yo, what's up, Pascal? How you going? Cool deck. Thanks, man. You're cool. I'm always up for a round or two. Is he playing a card I'm not aware of? Am I losing my Star Spring here? I don't think so. Let's this Fortune Croker. Well, there we go. Solid. The heavens rejoice. Guess monkeys aren't a terrible matchup for us. I think the play would be to, um, like if I'm playing against Soraka decks and I know that if they're going to try and lock me down, I'd be wanting to play more monkey business and merchants, I guess, trying to avoid putting units into the board, but there's only really so much you can do. I'm a bit fortunate because I have a copy of Pilfered Goods, which would probably help in that matchup, but Without developing a board and getting chip damage, it's quite difficult. 